Look a bunch of rays down the way. That's a monster ray, dude. Look at that. You got them, Scotty? Yeah. 12 o'clock. Two of them. Yep. Ray City. Ray's neutral? Neutral. All right, guys, our setup. We got two rays coming right at us right now. We just came out of Ponce Inlet. They have popped up. Come on, guy. Oh, there's two here. Sometimes they're on their back. Sometimes they're tight underneath the ray, and you really got to get the correct presentation. When they're on their back, it's so much easier. Oh, when yeah. They're tight underneath the ray. You can just set the jig right on their back. Yeah. There's anything on him. Two of them. So we're in the right spot. Three right here. <laughs> Go that way. Nothing on that one. Nothing come out for him anyway. There's definitely a, I think there's a good fish on that other one. Man, I am right under him. Come on. Oh, I just got bumped. I'm hooked up. You're not on the he, ray, are you? Yeah, he's underneath the ray. Uh. Oh, there he is. Little dink. Little dinker dink. <laughs> the right kind, though. The right kind. Uh. That's why I was able to pull him away from the ray, I guess. Got to come back this way. He wanted that croaker. I think he finally saw him. Well, I was able to get it right underneath the ray, you know? It's so hard when these rays are moving around all the time. You think you got a perfect shot, and then the ray turns on you, and then then your line gets snagged in the ray. And that's what you don't want to do, you want to get the ray goes down. What did you need say the name of this hook was called? That is called the, that used to be called the Big Nasty. Big that's Nasty. the name of it. How's he doing, Scott? Oh, he's ready, huh? Yeah. Here, we'll get him over here. Yeah. Up front. With the D hooker? Yeah. There you go. Bring him you around. Want him here. on that side? Yeah, bring him over here. Let everybody see him on that camera. Uh, yeah. They couldn't see him if we landed him over there. Oh. oh, he swallowed that thing, man. Might have to pull, pull him in the boat for a second. He might keep that one. He's down there. Easy, Mr. Cobb. Just a baby. Might have to just cut that one off. Huh? Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it down there. I'm telling you, man. They that knife, go ahead and clip it. They stuff. Is it in your pocket? No. Oh yeah, it is. They stuff those those uh, croakers. That's why I use them, man. They swallow them down. Clip it off there tight. That hook will fall out in a few days. These things are so muscular. I'm gonna try to hold him for you. There you go. A little now baby. Let's, let's go get something uh, a little bigger than that. Let's go get one that could eat this one. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a big monster. Hey, eat that I croaker. Hey, pond out front in my house? We're going to regroup. We'll be right back. They're just such a cool animal. It's amazing something that big eats plankton. Yeah. Gentle but giant. Look at, look at a whale, though. So Scotty, what's the most rays you ever seen in a day? I don't know. This is probably close to the most amount of rays I've seen in a, the couple of hours we've been fishing. This is unbelievable. I just wish more of them had fish on them. It's actually warmer to the south, 
but the right here is like 73 and a half. So that's just about right. All those rays that were down in Canaveral have pushed their way down the beach. We had all that south wind and uh, that's what's brought them here now. And the other thing is all this bait is eating these small plankton. And then that's the same thing that the rays are eating. That's it, brother. Hey, there's a ray over here, Blair. I think he's got fish on it right here. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, of course, because I got to tie up. He's coming after it, he's coming after it. I got him. There's more, there's more than one fish on that ray. Got him? Yeah. Cool beans. Is it a keeper? Yeah, I think it is. There's more fish on that ray. There's... All right, let me get tied up. I get up to him. Of course, I'm tying oh. up back here. He's coming at me. Which oh. ray? That ray in front of us? Yeah, right here. Yeah, this is a keeper. Right, right. They're, they're, they're okay. behind him. See him right there on the yeah, right? I got him. I got him. That's a keeper. Hope he stays glued. There he is. You hooked up? Yep. All right. Oh, that ain't a big one, though. Oh, throw back. Here's more. You want me to stick him yet? I do want to stick him. All right. Before we lose him. These swimming mullets don't work. No, they don't. Not at all. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap, yeah. dude. Finally, a Kobe on the boat after how many today? <laughs> I think you calmed down a little bit. Way to go, brother. Oh and my that's... God, a little persistence paid on this, man. We got a million rays around the boat and freaking having to work for, for a keeper. Like I said, I don't like having to measure Cobia or triple tail. And that one right there, you ain't got to measure him. Cobia, it's what's for dinner. Oh, dang. Well, after we get done buttoning up Scott's fish, my cameraman Adam says, hey, you got another ray off the bow. Got him. Dink. Nope. Oh, yeah. Right off his back, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Go around the bow. Mm. Pay attention, Blair. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Finally. Watch those other rays, man. Oh, yeah. I got my eyes on them. I had to drop that bait right on that ray's back. <laughs> Shake that head, baby. Shake that head. Oh, you gotta love that sound. You know, one thing I like about a cubby is, Scott, a lot of times, as hard, hard as you pull them, that's as hard as they're gonna pull you till they wear out. And it's so easy to lose them. You always gotta have that tight, have a bend in the rod on them because you saw how he was shaking his head, he'll wear a hole out where that hook is. And if you drop any slack to him, that, that just falls right out. Let me get him up, Scotty. I think we can put the hook in him and invite this one home for dinner. That is if you want to. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was so easy today, so. Hey, the two that we caught were pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Leader. All right, grab that gas. Come on, come on. All righty. See if I can stick this guy. There he goes. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah. Dinner, baby. That one's for you, Dad. What's that color called, Blair, on that DOA? That is called a root beer. Okay, I was gonna say root beer, but I didn't know if there's some other fancy name for it. Oh! So easy that come out? Yep. Woo! There, I got him. All right. Some blood in the boat. Oh, God. <laughs> Almost rinsed him off with me as well. All right. Another nice cub box. Okay. Put, put him in there with his brother. He's all bloody. Actually, uh, maybe mine's bigger. I think yours is a little bigger. Oh, I got the bigger fish. <sighs> oh, well, we got dinner. We got dinner and uh, we got our limit. Yeah, that's right. Two inshore. That's right. One per in, person. We're in state waters. You could get two per person, but. Uh, well, let's go get us a 100 pounder. Let's go see if we can find one. We'll have to release it. Now, now, now that the uh, pressure's off, we're going to start catching oh, 50 yeah. pounders. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Woo! We'll be right back. Rig It Rights, brought to you by Lose. 
All right, folks, I'm gonna show you what Captain Scott and I were out there using today. I was throwing the Inshore, and this is the eight foot M2 series by Luz. This is the Inshore model, and I say it's the meat stick of the Inshore series because it's just the heaviest one out of the whole lineup. Had it rigged with a BW40 size reel, 30 pound test Seaguar Smackdown, and this is the new flash green, and you can really see it against the background of a blue water, green water, it just really stands out. You can see which way direction that fish is going every single time. Had it rigged up with 40 pound test, and this is the gold label Seaguar. It's the thinnest diameter fluorocarbon out there on the market today. They make it up to 40 pound test, absolutely gets the job done. Had it rigged on one of my favorite lures right here, a DOA swim and mullet. And once again, it got the job done today for me. Scott was throwing the Offshore M2 Series by Luz. And this is a little bit bigger rod. You can catch those 50, 60, 70, 80 pound fish with this rod right here. And uh, he was using live bait and he had it rigged up with a Trocar inline circle hook. One of the sharpest hooks I've ever put into my hands. Absolutely great hook. That about wraps up the Rig It Right for today. Hope you guys can get out with Captain Scott and go catch you some fish. Rig It Right, brought to you by Luz. We may be rewarded with a big stud if we do. What, go south, get out of their way? Yeah. Adam. Get Big 50 pounder. Man of Ray farts. Should have seen the bubbles come up. He farted big. Oh, time. okay. <laughs> Nothing on his back. Oh, Cobia. Cobia. Got, got him. Oh, he let it go. He came out. Oh, yeah. That was so awesome, man. He pulled it out and he came back and ate it. Oh, man. What are you going to do, Cobia? That was awesome. <laughs> I was like, I need to run up there and cast. And Cubby's like, I want to die, I want to die. I don't know if those DOA mullets work, though. No, they don't. <laughs> Not a bit. Tail walking. Not a bit. Mr. Cobia. Yeah, he might be a keeper, Scott. Let's pull him in and uh, measure him. Yeah, let's just pull him in and take the hook out and let him go. OK. Uh, those little ones make some good ceviche. You want me to grab him? <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's a keeper, my camera guy wants a fish. Let's uh, let's measure him. Now, what Scotty's doing here is he's grabbing the leader. I'm keeping the line tight the whole time, just in case he lets it go, just like he did. Try not to get a bath. Ugh. This is what happens when you forget to bring your net. I didn't forget, I just refused to bring it. Oh, dang. There he's in the boat. He's probably close. Yep. Like I always said, if you got to measure them, let them get big. Ow, the shoke got my finger. Yeah, like this. I got them. One. Cobia. Yeah, he's a little short. Yep. So, poopy men and go be a Mogan. I don't think I've seen that many rays grouped together in one area. That was amazing. I can't hardly even explain it, but uh, all I can say is if y'all ever want to come and experience this or have a chance to experience it, make sure you look Scott up. Your website is? CentralFloridaCharters.com. And his name of his boat is the Outcast. Yep. Always get that wrong. But uh, thanks for tuning in to this week's show. Make sure you go to the website of 